Hello, I'm Glorious Liar, and this is another installation of my Glitch Exhibition and Explanation series. In my last video, I talked about the ways in which we can abuse crystal caves. Today I want to do the same for Fungi Forest. Fungi Forest is a very large level with multiple areas spanning out from the initial spawn area. In that area you will find a tree that changes the time of day from day to night, and vice versa. In a speedrun setting, it is imperative that you do as much as possible without messing with the time of day, considering the travel time to and from the start. Additionally, if you can avoid the cutscene altogether and just get the fastest golden bananas, like the no levels early run does, you can skip it altogether. Anyways, let's get into it. Here's a handful of ways to exploit Fungi Forest in DK64. First up we have DK's Mill Golden Banana. Typically getting this golden banana requires entering a cage to pull a series of levers, and the banana will be transported outside. However, the banana is always present on the map, teasing you from behind some bars. Due to the ease of getting out of bounds in this room, we simply need to walk over to it. There is a weak spot on the wall opposite the conveyor belt that simply allows you to phase right through the collision. These sorts of out of bounds appear in a few spots in the game, but it is most obvious right here in the mill. Once out of bounds, we can navigate around the room and hop in bounds to collect the banana. No conveyor belt required. A quirk of this banana always being present is that any Kong can collect it. This is called wrong grab. In 101% speedruns, it is typically useful to grab it with Chunky since he has another task in this room. In the same area, Chunky has a golden banana that requires him to drop some steel kegs onto the moving conveyor belt and once all of them have exploded in the crusher, a golden banana will appear. Similarly to DK, the conveyor doesn't actually need to be moving in order to get the banana. We can activate the crusher and walk up to a precise spot on the belt that allows Chunky to both drop the barrel and have it explode successfully. If we do this with all of them, the completion state will be reached and a golden banana will appear for Chunky, again without the need for a moving conveyor belt. Continuing with DK, I want to show off a cool partial skip for the Baboon Blast course. In this difficult barrel course, you must precisely shoot from barrel to barrel until finally reaching a bonus barrel. However, in the middle of the course there is a giant thorny vine that impedes the shot of one of the barrels. Bring Rush found during the making of his tool assisted 101% run that by shooting on a specific frame, you can actually land on it. From here we can mooncake off a thorn directly in front of the vine we are standing on, and the distance covered by this mooncake is enough to reach the barrel early. This barely saves any time, and is too difficult for a real-time run, but I thought it was cool so I had to share. On to Diddy. This next trick is technically glitchless, but it's still cool. To avoid playing your instrument at the start of the attic, you can simply navigate the raptors blind if you know where you're going. And if you don't, popgun peanuts and oranges can actually light your way to a degree. I don't recommend going for this in runs, because the possible time save vanishes instantly if you fall or go slow. Another golden banana that is tantalizing the player from inside a cage is Diddy's golden banana outside the mill. Luckily the cage is underground, at a similar height to the water in the moat. That means we have access to swim through vertical walls, a glitch that lets us phase through vertical collision in a specific range of angles, called the phase angles. Once through the interior of the moat, we can simply swim up to Diddy's cage and perform the glitch again, bypassing the walls of the cage. You think that we are now stuck here, but the underground walls surrounding it are actually quite weak and easy to get out of. The next skip is a little complicated. We're going to be skipping Lanky's Rabbit Race by stealing the banana from under the floor. First up we need to get Tag Barrel Storage by interrupting entering the Tag Barrel with a rank stand. This is accomplished by doing a skid jump, a frame perfect skid and jump, which allows us to enter a rank stand in the air. Tag Barrel Storage allows us to freely move with a locked camera, and doing it by entering a rank stand preserves the no-clip effect the Tag Barrel provides. This means we can walk through walls and go anywhere with this property so long as we stay in the animations that don't cancel this effect. Here's a visualization of the route we are going to be taking to the banana. We get TBS, enter the moat around the giant mushroom, and surface swim over to the giant tree area. Surface swimming preserves the no-clip effect, so long as we avoid any void triggers, and we can navigate to the new area unimpeded. We do all this with a locked camera, because the camera loads objects by proximity, and keeping the camera frozen in another area means we can interact with objects in their default states. The default state of a golden banana makes it collectible, and the rabbit race's golden banana is below the floor of the carrot at the start of the race. 
Once in a good position, we are out of bounds below the floor of the giant tree, and we can simply walk directly into the golden banana, collecting it. To clear the void and show you that we did in fact arrive at the start of the race out of bounds, we can play our instrument and the void will clear, revealing the area. I know this is complicated, so to summarize succinctly, we get tag barrel storage with a ring stand to activate no clip with a locked camera, enter the moat with no clip and swim under the giant tree, hop out of fake water and walk to the golden banana, collect the banana because the area is unloaded, and the default state is collectible. Pretty cool. I used the Nernicus's tutorial to figure out the best movement for this, so shoutouts to him. A simpler exploit with Lanky involves getting into one of his rooms atop the giant mushroom. By throwing four oranges rapidly in first person, we can generate enough lag in this area to clip right through the door blocking the entrance to his room, skipping the need to slam a switch on top of the mushroom. Orange clips are achieved by generating lag, which is compensated for by speeding up the player, making lag clips possible. Due to the lack of precision, these clips can be quite difficult, but are certainly possible for real-time runs in many cases. On to Tiny Kong. I showed this off in my Wrong Barrels video, but it pertains to Fungi Forest so I'll show it again. First we need to activate Ski with the following steps. Swim through vertical walls to get out of bounds. Jump out of the fake water and hit the water bounds from the side with our gun out. Swim away and angle all the way back. Enter first person with our gun, forcing us out of water but preserving the angle skew. Skew, like no clip, allows us to pass through most collision. If from here we were to get tag barrel storage, such as by falling into a barrel from far above, interrupting the tag barrel by entering the fall animation, we can have both properties active. From here we can get into Diddy's rocket barrel, which preserves skew as well. Flying into range of the tag barrel means we can switch to another Kong, so we can tag Tiny Kong getting skewed Tiny Rocket Barrel. Complicated I know, but this will be important. We can now fly with Tiny Kong and ignore collision, meaning we can fly out of bounds. Nearby is the Beanstalk area, and the Beanstalk Golden Banana is way up in the sky, waiting for Squawks to take you there. However, if we line ourselves up correctly, we can fly into it from the giant mushroom area, skipping collecting the bean, entering Mini Monkey, and having Squawks carry us to it. I think this is one of the coolest exploits in the game, personally. This is not exactly viable for real-time runs, but it is certainly possible to execute in real-time. Another golden banana that is waiting just out of reach is the one for defeating the spider boss with Tiny. It is always present on the map, hidden below the floor of the fight. It is quite difficult to get out of bounds in this room, but there is a way. By throwing a ton of oranges and generating loads of lag, Tiny can clear the pit around the fight, having enough speed to clip through the wall, and additionally pass over the death plane that extends slightly out of bounds. This is incredibly precise, but if done correctly, you will be out of bounds, below the death plane, and can walk over to the center of the ring. After watching the initial cutscene, you can simply walk up and collect the spider's banana. Pacifism wins for now. Shoutouts to the Bollum96 for this one. That does it for this video. Fungi Forest is a complicated level, and many of the skips here require a lot of in-depth game knowledge and loads of practice. In a speedrun, I found that it's very difficult to string everything together correctly, even though any individual task is not insanely difficult. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.